Charlie Murray and welcome back to the Smuggler in the Blind, episode 21. I'm back from stuff which I mentioned in the previous video, but hey. So, I say previous video, I mean like face cam video, not previous Smuggler video. Go, go on my channel and you'll find out. Um, so, we need to finish the Smuggler because uh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, we need to finish it off because the Dark vs. Light event is ending in... Um, hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me get... Let me, let me get my phone. Uh, is it two weeks? Two weeks is Tuesday? Because today's Sunday. I think. Might be wrong about that. I'm going to move this pen because it's going to knock into the, my mouse. So I need to finish the smuggler. Do as much as I can because I said I was going to do that for the to the quizster, But stuff happened as you know. Um, and I haven't done anything just yet. But I will. I will. Honestly. I promise. So, we need to speak to Dharma's Polaran because he has an opportunity for me. So good to get you in, Captain. I trust you're finished playing White Knight to poor little smugglers. If you're finding yourself at loose ends now, a business opportunity has presented itself that I thought might interest you. It takes credits to maintain this lifestyle. It does indeed. I assure you, this job promises to be quite profitable. Why don't you meet me at Port Nowhere, and we can discuss it. Perhaps over a game of Sabak. Ah, oh, what a surprise. Let's go to Port Nowhere then. Is it Nowhere? Where am I going? I need to go to Port Nowhere and I'm not even going to Port Nowhere. Silly me. So give or take, I do plan to uh, finish the Smuggler series this week. I say give or take because it might be Sunday, but I don't plan to do what I did for the Sith Inquisitor and record every single episode that day. Maybe like a couple today. But not every single episode, and then um, I believe I've got Friday off this next week coming up. Master, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you shut up. Uh, so I'll probably do like, I don't know, I'll do like four episodes up to Thursday, and then I'll do the rest on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then we'll, we'll be done. We'll, we'll be done with the smuggling, and then we've got like, what, less than two weeks then before? I'm going to take Gus with me as well from now on. Uh, then we've got less than two weeks before the Dark vs. Light event ends. Um, obviously the uh, the companion which you'll get is going to be announced I think on 14th of November? What's the date today? Today's the 12th isn't it? Uh, no today's the, oh maybe the 15th then. I don't know anymore I'm just guessing. Hey, Sexy lady! Oh, 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 Gangnam style. Ah. <sighs> What a moment for the Holo albums, standing with two of the galaxy's most famous, or should I say, notorious spacers. Captain, I'd like to introduce you to Vaz Treniff. He's, um, how do I say this delicately? A Katha? I rob ships. Oh. I thought you'd appreciate knowing that more than one of his hits has been against Rogan the Butcher. That's a bit of a racial stereotype, you know. Oh, my phone's just blipped. I got a brand new phone, I'm still getting used to it, so let me just turn my phone off. There we go. Um... <laughs> That's kind of a bit of a stereotype, Darmus, because... No, it's not your fault. Well, Bioware, really. He's a cat. He steals from ships. And uh, the idea is that cats are like the sort of thieves in the sort of fantasy game. So, yeah! Stereotype, Bioware. God. Hasn't anybody killed that guy yet? Never got close enough to try. That mug's been coming after my crew since the last job we pulled on him. Picked them off one by one. I remember this guy. I think he was ahead of you on Rogan's Whose Face I Want to Smash In Personally list. How dare you! Now the Huts have my best vault cracker. We don't stop them, they'll sell them to Rogan for the price of his head. I'm supposed to be at the top of that list. If it's a chance to hurt Rogan, I'm on board. It's more. Vaz's partner, Combo, was taken by the Huts while doing preliminary scouting for what could be the heist of the millennium. An Imperial Treasury starship, the King's Ransom, is in orbit just off Nar Shaddaa. I don't have to tell you the kind of credits we're talking about. Rogan's never had the guts to go after an Imperial Treasury ship directly. You could be righteous and rich. I figured you'd want in. Huh, you figured correctly. What kind of haul are we talking about? My understanding is this ship is carrying the product of all trade between the Empire and the Huts on Nar Shaddaa. Help me rescue Combo, raid the ship, and we'll split it 50-50. It's not often you get the chance to thumb your nose at Rogan, strike a blow for the Republic, and still walk away with enough to retire on. 
You wouldn't have come to Darmus if you could do this yourself. 60-40. Darmus wouldn't have introduced us if he thought you could do it alone. 50. I'm sure you two will work out the details. Rogan's Lieutenant Strilith is going to pick Combo up at a hut cartel safe house on Nar Shada. Boz has the coordinates. I'll meet you there. If we don't manage to rescue Combo, deal's off. Uh, 55-45. No. 51-49. So I'm gonna cut you a deal. If you give me 10,000 credits, I'll give you that air over there. Now I'll tell you what I haven't actually done. I haven't welcomed Gus. Ah, so this is why I reached had to get out of this room, because this is your room, Gus. Let's welcome you. Have I said thank you yet? If not, just remind me, and I will, twice a day, like atmospheric suppositories. Right. I mean, most guys, they'd have killed me without a second thought. Awkward silence. I, uh, probably shouldn't keep reminding you not to trust me. Believe me, it's not something I'll forget. All right, all right, you don't need to spill it out. By the way, can you tell that Corso guy to maybe see a doctor about his snoring? How does anyone sleep on this ship? Just, uh, uh, tell me if you need anything, Captain. Uh, I'll be on the comm link, trying to order some decent food. They have takeaway in space? Ah, oh, I want a takeaway now. Nashada, where art thou? You're there. Off we go. Do we have a hollow terminal conversation? We just need to locate combo. Combo 4 is what I normally go for. <laughs> Speaking of takeaways, Combo 4. I think Combo 4 would like this place I go for is, um... I think, is it? Things like three pieces of chicken. Yeah, three pieces of chicken with uh, fries or chips, depending on where you live in the world. Um, and a can of tango. I've just gone in a complete circle. Why did I do that? I'm getting so distracted by food. Um... The other two things I have would be either a cheeseburger meal or a chicken wrap meal, so... Yep. Now you know a little bit about my life in, uh... Takeaways! Yep. And while we're on the way there, let me just talk to you about my brand new phone, which I mentioned earlier. The HTC 10. I like it, but I do have uh, problems with it. One, don't like the fact that the actual speakers of the phone are on the very bottom. Because I don't, because sometimes when I'm in bed, I like to lean my phone just on my chest. However, my chest is going to be blocking the sound. So it's going to sound all. Because my chest is sort of blocking the sound. Secondly, I don't like how it now has a different charge port. So the charger you need is not the same charger you need from my last phone which was a HTC One M8 which is also, which coincidentally is also the same charger you can plug into your PlayStation 4 controllers but no, HTC were all like oh there's a, a camera icon just appeared on my phone but no, HTC were all like, you know what, we're going to change our chargers because we want to be different Stop being like Apple, seriously. And the thing is as well, is that HTC can't exactly go back to the original chargers with the next phone. So they've shot themselves in the foot because if they go back to the original chargers, people will complain who's got who likes the current chargers. Well why I've got this charger, but I can't use this charger because you just changed it back. So what am I gonna do with this charger? So they've shot themselves in the foot. They really have. Maybe they can get back to it in the next 10 years, but then by then, things will probably have changed. Anyway, combo. <laughs> Thought you are force sensitive there. Oh, you are? This looks like the goods, alright. Are you force sensitive or? Step back, Hook. He still has until the credits change hands. <gasps> oh, he is holding him by the throat. I thought he was. I thought he was like. Holding him with the force. Rogan already said what he'll pay. It's not subject to negotiation. You're going home empty-handed, Strilf. Haha! <laughs> I've heard of you, Captain. I never thought to meet such a notorious thorn in a great Rogan side. He stole from Rogan. If you let him live, our deal is off. 
This is private business arrangement, Captain. I'll have to ask you to leave, unless you're planning to make an offer. How long do you want to gamble that Rogan's empire stays bigger than mine? An interesting question. We've noticed your rise, Captain. Your alliance with Rogan's former Whitemore pirates gives you an art of influence in the Outer Rim. Rogan will kill you if you make a deal with this scum. Are you threatening me? Do you truly think Rogan would war against the entire Hut Cartel on your word? You kill everyone here, Captain. Who's to say who did it? Stroth's not known for working things out peacefully. Vaz, I I knew you'd save me, Vaz, buddy. I, I just knew it. Frame Rogan for killing Rascuro. You cut off his ties to the entire Hut Cartel. Rogan's already butted up against cartel controls. It wouldn't take much to convince them he'd attacked. You wouldn't dare. You hear that, Rusciro? Hand over combo, or that's my other option. This isn't how we do business, Captain. It's not wise for you to set yourself against the hut. But I certainly value my life more than this poor fool. Take him and go. No! You won't steal from Rogan a second time! Finish this how you like. I'm done here. Okay! Die Strelph! Die Strelph, yeah, you 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 deal with them. Um and I'll I'll, I'll deal with Strelf. Because, uh, no, you deal with them. I'm dealing with Strelf. Oh, whatever. He's dead anyway. That was easy. And, uh, let's do that. And Yeah. Done. Ooh, what, what green thing have I got? Uh, here we'll listen. No. Don't need that. All right. Told you I wouldn't let them hold you. I told them to come for me, Vaz. They didn't think you could do it. Thanks lots for bringing Vaz here. I was real scared without him. You shouldn't have let the hut walk, Captain. No points for live enemies. First of all, who opens a prison cell like... Second of all, who says thanks lots? Third of all... I don't have a third one. Your friend doesn't seem too bright. He's a... what you call it? Savant. Believe me, with code, he's the best. I was always good with numbers, and it was Vaz taught me how I could use it. I protect him. We work together. Now we hit the Imperial treasure ship. Darmus made arrangements for us to use one of the Republic's secret shuttle pads to get up there. I'll transmit the specs and meet you. Then we'll bilk those Imperials out of more credits than you've ever seen. So what you're telling me... Ooh, Cartel Coins behind my account. Lovely. Oh, I've done Chapter 2! Ah, oh, sweet! End of Chapter 2. I didn't think this was the end of Chapter 2. Wow. I just need to do Chapter 3. And then I'll be a legend! I love how I don't even have my buffs up as well. That's great. Um, so you're also telling me as well that... um, Well, Vaz. Yeah, you're telling me that he's actually autistic. Combo is autistic. Okay. I can buy that. I guess, I mean, you wouldn't say autistic in the Star Wars world, because, well, why would you? Uh, look at the Secret Republic show pad. Is, that st is this still going to be on Nashada? Uh, I have no idea. Well, let's find out by going to the red light sector, which, as I will remind you, red light shares uh, the same name Whee! as, uh, all right, shares the same name as, uh, like, a porn video game. Yes, uh, I hope you'll be googling that. And we need to go around the corner. All right. I must also remind you as well that it is double XP, which is uh, great. It's just great. Can you breathe? Yes, I can breathe. Can you? Surprised to see me? Who do you think pulled the strings to let you use this shuttle pad? Darmus told me what you're doing. It's quite heroic, really. The treaty of Coruscant forbids official strikes on non-military vessels. We're lucky you're not bound by that. I always try to look out for the little guy. Just a warning, then. The Empire is moving reinforcements into the area. I'd hate to see that handsome face blown into space debris. Aww. The shuttle pad's right over there. Alright. Vaz! Where art thou? Thou there. Oh, and you, Combo. Hello. This is the ship we'll use to rendezvous. It's Imperial salvage, so it's good camo. Combo's cracked a signal we need to dock with the King's Ransom. 
You know, strangely, Vaz's voice actor lines sound like they were just, I don't know, telephoned in. Not because of the way he talked, but the way they actually sound. You know, it sounds a bit muffled. A little bit. You know, the microphone's more muffled than everybody else in this game. What happens once we dock? Base filled with empty cargo containers. Me and Combo will hide in one while you pilot us in. Really? In one? After you secure the hangar bay, pop us, and we'll loot the vaults from inside. Will you hold my hand, Vaz? You know I don't like the dark. Didn't I show you I won't let anything hurt you, bud? Just climb in. Nice and easy. Definitely autistic. Spring us when we're clear. I mean, it's nice that a video game is now portraying, like, autistic characters. It's just, you know, sad to see. Poor autistic child. Hello. Hey, what are you doing poking around here? The only arrival code we've received is for Imperial Starship 2423T6H3L5. Pilot Lieutenant Commander Anaya Arolia Cleone of the Chiss Alliance. That's totally me. Yeah, I know. I don't look very Chiss. My parents were surprised too. <laughs> Who are you? This is a clearance 5 area. Drop your weapons and show your ID. Or I shoot. Wow, you sound so enthusiastic about that. Would you believe me if I said it's in my other pants? Oh, for the love of... Move it along, Captain. Get the vaults, Combo. When he's got the security down, we should split up. Hit as many vaults as we can before they lock down again. Meet you back here when we're done. I had it handled, alright? God, I was ha- Where's his body gone? <gasps> he's disappeared. He's a zombie! Oh, and I can't stealth, can I? Nope! I can on my Imperial, not my Imperial Agent, my Sith Inquisitor! For some strange reason, I keep getting Imperial Agent and the Sith Inquisitor mixed up. I don't know why. Oh, there's a door there. What does this door lead? Through an elevator. Oh, open sesame. Ah, oh, I wanted to go through, which well, we probably will do because there's something we can go up, so we probably will have to go there. Oh, that's where we come out of because we're going to go around in a circle, most likely. Alright, what are we doing to this thing? Uh, I forgot. I've already forgotten. Uh, ah ha ha ha! Okay, loot and elevator access card from the skill. Oh, oh, it's you. Hello. I was gonna just follow you around the whole place, just trying to avoid you, but I need to kill you anyway. All right, cool. Let me take your loot. Thank you very much. Unlock the elevator. Oh, going this way now. Oh, hello. How you all doing? Well, don't mind me if I drop this. La 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 la, using the elevator access, lovely, locate the vaults. Does that mean I get to go, oh, I was going to say, does that mean I get to go that way, but no, I'm going that way. It's definitely, it's definitely going to bring me around in a circle, I can feel it. I can feel it. Hello enemies, I wish I could skip, but I can't. <sighs> well, what's the point in that? That does absolutely nothing being positioned there. Absolutely nothing. I don't know. Are you dead yet? Yes, now you're dead. Now pick up all this loot. Wasn't worth it. You know, I get a strange feeling that elevator is meant to match the elevator downstairs. However, that would not match the plans which we just saw because this elevator took me here where if you don't realize, the actual uh, elevator for that one, if it is going to where I need to go, where it needs to go, would actually be down here somewhere. And if we're assuming that this is the other way around, well then, the elevator would be over here. Not over here. So, we'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, oh, I need to go through it. Oh. Oh, okay. Gonna say, probably get out of the way of the door. Open the first vault. Will do. Bum, ba -dum, bum. 
Oh, five seconds, really? It takes five seconds to open a vault. Well, yes, it really does. Oh. Lovely. Hello. How are you all doing? You alright? Yeah? Cool. Whee! Oh, hi. Um, what's this? New genetic sample. Looted. Loot this. Looted. Loot this. Looted. You just stand there and do whatever. Bye. Pew. Locate. Loot the skull. Oh, okay. I'll loot the skull. Looted. 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 Now for the third vault. Lovely. Loot the final vault. Did I just see people die? Like, fall to the ground and die? No, I didn't. That would have been lovely, though. Oh, a moth. Loted him far beyond his station. What do the Dark Lords possibly see in this scheme to replace soldiers of the Empire with pathetic, lawless criminals? Who are you? How did you get in here? Well, I would have thought you would have heard the door explode behind you! If you don't have any valuables, I'll move to the next vault. Carry on. The ship is under attack. Call for reinforcements. The Void Wolf! The King's Ransom is under attack. I command you to use all your fleet's resources to drive off this invasion. Now, as you always remind me, I wasn't born to the Imperial military. So I may have the power structure wrong, but I'm pretty blasted sure I outrank you. And there's the Void Wolf, ladies and gentlemen. We need to stop meeting like this. You're the one they're begging me to save them from? I guess there are things pathetic lawless criminals are good for after all. You're bound by the rules of warfare to send reinforcements when an Imperial vessel is under attack. Oh, did I not mention? The Empire just declared war on the Republic and all its representatives. And as Article 17 of the Xios Convention states, an Imperial Admiral is justified in destroying Imperial targets at risk of falling into enemy hands. With the Captain's track record, I just can't take that chance. Oh, boo-hoo, Void Wolf. Captain, get back to the Hannibal. There's an Imperial Battlecruiser attacking the ship. The whole thing's gonna blow. Alright, well I need to defeat the moths first. I mean, that would be easy. Stop saying we! It gets annoying after a while. All right. Uh, allow me to something important. loot well, the corpse. Me, anyway. Oh, this is a bonus mission. Oh, well, of course I'm gonna loot it just because it's gonna be an easy bonus mission. Wait, how much do I get? I get twenty-one thousand experience just for looting that, and that's getting me to level forty-three as well. <sighs> Beautiful. Do I get any new abilities? Anything new? Anything? Apparently so. I get. Scrambling field deploys an acquired scrambling field that disrupts the energy. Yeah, whatever, whatever that does. Also, I should have an XP boost up, but I don't. I could have got myself some more XP there. Oh well. Oh hi, hi. How you all doing? You alright? Yeah, you good? Alrighty then. Shall we see where this elevator actually leads? Because if it leads where I said it's going to lead. By where Don screwed it up. And. It leads where I said it would lead. Bioware, Bioware, Bioware. You have done. effed it up. I mean, sure. Maybe it's one of those elevators that goes like down, left, down, or something like that. Like in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, or Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, whichever one you prefer. But, something tells me. No. No. Vaz! Let's launch this ship. Alright, alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, is that meant to be the sound of the ship exploding behind us? Oh, okay. That was disappointing. I was hoping it's gonna be a massive but it said it was like a pew pew. Hello again, Vaz. I hate Imperials, crazier than a hut on Glitterstem. What kind of morons blow up their own ship so it don't get looted? 
We stumbled onto some kind of internal power play. The Void Wolf just took down three moths. Good. Let them blow each other up. Long as we got the money. Let's split and then let's split, you know? I don't want to chance anyone following. How much do we get? Here's everything I got. What do you have? I'll have Combo Tally. He's good with numbers and honest like a Jedi. Been nice working with you, Captain. You're good people. Come on, Combo. Let's go see what kind of hidey hole this hall can buy us. Thanks, Captain. You're welcome. Talk to Senator Dodona. Uh oh. Hands off the Senator. Captain, I thought you were dead. The ship, I saw it explode. I thought you were dead too. Rogue is gonna be real happy I didn't get here too late. The rest of you sick the socks on the lady. I'm taking this one on personal. What? what? Oh, oh, these are socks. Oh, stop saying we. That really gets annoying. Oh well, they were easy to kill. All right, uh, and then you, the assassin. Even McCreed. Oh, nevertheless, you're dead. Good job she's good at just standing there and avoiding all my bullets. So, Captain, are you the bad luck that keeps getting me attacked, or the lucky charm who keeps rescuing me? What are those things? Have you ever seen an animal like this? No, but they probably exist. As long as they die when you shoot them, doesn't matter what they are. If they turn up on a Republic shuttle pad trying to eat me, I've got a vested interest in figuring out where they come from and how Rogan the Butcher got his hands on them. He's just managed to move himself from thorn in my side to public enemy number one. So what's the plan? Send a strike team? Sick the SIS on him? Why would I want to do that when I have you? Ugh. Rogan is the Void Wolf's most dangerous tool. I think the time has come to take down his criminal empire once and for all. Woo! Can you steeple your fingers and say, together we can rule the world? <laughs> Stick with me, love. And you don't need to stop at one world. Perhaps we should take some time and strategize. Alone. Ah. Uh, what? Are you ashamed of me? A senator and some scruffy pirate? You have to admit it'll draw some looks. Are you so eager to show me off? Oh, okay. I have a room just off the shuttle bay. Oh, I, I guess that was my cue to leave, huh? Let's go. Oh! Uh, oh, okay. Oh. That's not what I planned. Don't say anything, Captain. I've got no interest in awkward pillow talk. Go to Darmus on Port Nowhere. Find out anything he knows about Rogan's business and those things that attacked me. I'm sure I'll be seeing you again soon. So that happened. That wasn't the plan at all because I, I as as I Risha is meant to be my one true love. But uh, but I, I I guess he can have some fun in the in the in the meantime. I I guess. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And here we are on Port Nowhere, ready to speak to our man, Darmus Polaran. It rhymed. Welcome back, Captain. Senator Dodonna's already called to rave about how you just saved her life. I bet she did. Meaning the whole Republic's backing you when you finally take down Rogan. Not bad for somebody from the wrong side of the hyperlane. When did you two decide that I want to start hunting down the most brutal gangster in the entire galaxy? Unless you like being ambushed in every spaceport. I don't think the Butcher's given you much choice. You're definitely off to a good start. He's lost a lot of influence since you cut him off from the huts. Let me get the Senator on the link. She's going to want to hear what I found. Uh-oh. Did it not serve your kind? Oh, never mind, Gus. What is it? Oh, and she's how picking quickly? up. Oh, I finally. got pulled out of a vote for this. 
Creatures Rogan sent at you seem to be cybernetically modified versions of native Vossian wildlife. Voss? As far as I know, no native animal has ever been legally exported off Voss. It's time to track down who's been playing zookeeper for Rogan. Voss is a strange place, newly discovered, very isolationist. I'll pull some strings and get you a landing permit, but it'll take a while. We shouldn't wait. Rogan's finally vulnerable, and the captain's gained quite a reputation recently. We're going to bow first, then? If anyone's going to conquer his criminal empire, Captain, this is the time, and you're the man with the crown. I wouldn't turn down the chance to rule the galactic underworld with an iron fist. Unfortunately, the only one who knew all of Rogan's secrets was his mentor, Ivory. And he disappeared years ago. That's not... entirely true. He's in a prison on Belsavis. His predecessor was arrested by the Republic. To my knowledge, he's still incarcerated in a top-secret facility on Belsavis. Yeah. This is highly restricted knowledge. Even within the Senate, not everyone knows of Belsavis. You must not repeat any part of this. Not everyone knows about Belsavis, you know, except Kranatoko, um, Nastaria, um, Malada, Lyshaw, Harlow, um, eventually, uh, my Jedi Knight, yeah, not everyone knows. If this ivory's been locked up long enough, we should be able to buy his cooperation with a few rolls of spice and some shaving cream. It may take months to get the permits for Voss. Bill Savis will be easier. Ivory and Rogan were like father and son. If you can find him, he'll know Rogan's hideouts, stashes, things we'd never find ourselves. This is a man who used to sell children to the huts for gladiatorial games. The Republic will insist on tight restrictions for dealing with him. But it's worth it. If you're going to war with Rogan, Bell Savis will be your first battleground. I'll get the permits in order. Rogan. Has no idea who's coming after him. I'm pretty sure he will. Eventually. He he'll he'll sorta of know. So I'm gonna join them dancing just just just, just cuz. Uh uh, just do that dance. So come on, come on, guys, join along. Never mind. So for the third time. Next time we'll be heading to Bell Savis to free somebody from prison because that's what every single trip to Balsava seems to be and like I did in the Sith Inquisitor each episode or each planet will be one episode because I want to try and finish this this week this week coming up so so thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen and I shall see you next time and a farewell to you Oh my god, this is amazing! Gus isn't dancing, but he's bobbing his head like, uh, 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 it's good music, yeah, uh, uh, uh. All because he's sort of following, you know, Harlow dancing. I wonder what point he's actually looking at. You know how your companion looks at you? At what point in the, your body is he looking at you? Maybe, maybe the. the. Let's just end this episode now.